What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> hey guys, good morning. It is day three of our fitness challenge. It is Wednesday, and so I thought I would just take this opportunity to go live real quick and share with you guys some tips for Water Wednesday. Water Wednesday, Water Wednesday. Okay, so if you guys have been around this group a while, you know that I am all about preaching, preach on drinking your water, staying hydrated, and properly fueling your body in that way. So that's what I wanted to do is give you guys some tips, show you what I do, and uh, set you guys up for success with your hydration early in this challenge. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a couple seconds and see if anybody hops on. If not, I'm going to go for the recording and you guys will see this whenever you wake up. Sleepy heads. I don't know if you guys have tried out this uh, live feature yet, but uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> While we're waiting, just give it like 30 more seconds. Um, I wanted to see if you guys saw this. For those of you guys that were in the challenge last month and uh, in May, remember when we did the Summer Strong Challenge? And um, if you submitted your results, you should have gotten a t-shirt just like this in the mail. This showed up yesterday, I got one, Kevin got one for completing um, Master's Hammer and Chisel. <laughs> you had to submit your results, but you got this cool shirt in the mail. It says some cool stuff on the back too. I don't know what that says. But uh, yeah, it's really comfy, guys. It's super soft. I um, actually slept in it last night. I forgot to take it off. But uh, but it's great, right? So I put on this and I put on my Boston Strong headband for you guys this morning. So, okay. So let's go ahead and talk about Water Wednesday. Number one, um, like I said, if you guys have been here a while, you know I harp on this water thing all the time. It's uh, a point that I have struggled with for my whole life and just recently have overcome it. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys, right? I mean, I'm 35. I've been doing this fitness journey for two, I don't know, two and a half, almost three years now with Beachbody. And I was also a very active person before that. But really prior to like the last six months when I just started harping on it and harping on it and harping on it, um, I still personally struggled with getting enough water and enough hydration throughout the day. Um, so keep in mind, if you struggle to drink enough water every day, it's okay. It's a habit that you can learn. If you struggle with drinking too many, um, other beverages like sodas, like, um, juices, like milks, um, coffee, <laughs> uh, even alcohol, right? If you struggle with the majority of the stuff that you drink in a day being not water, um, again, it's okay. It's something that you can work on in this group and that we will help support you through learning how to adopt that as a habit because the downline benefits for you as an athlete, right? As somebody who is exercising every day, somebody who's putting good nutrition in their body, adding in that water component is like huge. It makes an enormous difference, not only in how you feel, also how you look, how like your skin glows, um, how much energy you have, and how and specifically how much energy you have to give to your workouts. Um, I'll give you one last example and then I'm gonna dive into what I do, okay? Um, as an example, before I moved to Florida 10 years ago, oh my God, um, I ran distance races. I ran a lot of half marathons and marathons. Um, that was like my form of exercise. That was it. Um, and so you'd be training all throughout the year, all different kinds of times of the year, winter, summer, etc. And so obviously during strenuous d endurance exercise like that, you have to stay hydrated. And I would, I'd be running and I'd be like, yeah, I'm pounding the water. And then I'd go home and I'd drink nothing, like nothing the rest of the day, except for maybe a Coke. Dumb, right? Your body and your muscles need, um, hydration to work properly and to repair themselves. So. That is why I harp on water. Plus, like I said, it just pisses me off when I can't tackle something and win. 
<laughs> and so I lost the water game for a long, long time and it just pissed me off. So finally, like I said, about six months ago, I started really focusing on it and thinking about winning every single day when it came to me versus this water jug. And uh, finally, guys, it instilled itself into a habit. I feel great for it. Now water is not this big, horrible challenge. So I'm hoping that you guys, hi Jessica, how's it going? <laughs> um, I'm hoping that you guys can take some of my tips, begin to practice them today, all throughout your 21 day challenge, and then obviously continue on with them um, after the challenge and as you go forward, okay? So here is what I do pretty much every single day, okay? Um, I like to get up early, but sometimes I stay up way too late and getting up early in the morning sucks. So this actually helps me get going in the morning without um, drinking a whole pot of coffee. Okay. So first thing I do is I fill up one of my shaker cups with water. Usually I'll fill it up with water and I'll throw it in the fridge the night before. So it's cold. Like it really kind of gives you a splash on the inside of wake up freezing cold water. Um, and while I'm puttering around in the morning, you know, getting cleaned up, go to the restroom, make the coffee, feed the dog, that kind of thing. I drink this whole thing. It's 25 ounces, I think. Yep. 25 ounces. And that is like my base for water in the morning. What does that do? Like I said, the cold, the coldness of the water, it wakes you up. I learned that in the three day refresh. Um, that's what they have you do every morning. First thing, not 25 ounces, but like eight ounces. It does wake you up. It like wakes up your insides. Um, it also helps me not be starving when I wake up. I don't know if you guys wake up and you're hungry, but, um, often I do. I wake up and I'm like, can't wait for breakfast, which is a couple steps down the road. Um, and so having that water first thing in the morning, not only wakes me up, gets my brain functioning and hydrated, but it also helps me chill out my appetite. Um, so I don't immediately go and grab like a scone or a donut <laughs> or something if I have to leave the house. Um, so it also has the downstream effect of being a great appetite suppressant. Yay. Um, so that's what I do. First thing I do is I get my water in. I don't, I'm, I've not allowed myself to have any other liquids until that is gone. All right. Then I do proceed on to the elixir of life coffee. And this today I'm having it out of my favorite mug that I got from my friend in California. Witness the fitness. You guys can figure out the acronym on that. But, um, yeah, I have one cup of coffee every day. I finally, um, I don't know when this was. I can't remember. It was one of the times I did the three day refresh. Um, after the refresh, I just, you know, you're not supposed to have creamer in your coffee. And I used to be a huge creamer person. Um, so I, I switched, I made the switch to black coffee. Um, the transition was, you know, from super sugary creamers, artificial creamers, some sort of space food, right? Um, I thought, okay, well I'll do almond milk because that's allowed on the plan. And to me, it was really nasty. I was like, tastes like I just put some cardboard in my coffee. So it wasn't worth it. Um, so I just decided I was going to drink it black. And after, you know, a few days of drinking it black, I was like, it isn't so bad. So now I have one cup of black coffee every morning after my water. All right. Once that's done, I do usually make this video for you guys or check in or whatever. And then by that point I am getting hungry. So especially if I have to go walk the dog, that's when I have my Shakeology. Um, because again, if I leave the house and I'm hungry, the likelihood of me going by Starbucks or Chick-fil-A or something like that to get something that I love and crave is pretty high. Um, that willpower muscle when I'm hungry is pretty weak even now. So I pretty much make it my rule never to leave the house hungry without this thing in my hand. Um, today, I think if you guys saw my recipe the other day, I'm pretty much obsessed with this new recipe of half chocolate, half vanilla, half a banana, some peanut butter, and maybe some cinnamon. It just tastes like pie. And I love pie. So water, coffee, shake. Go do all my errands, do whatever I have to do. And then about nine o'clock in the morning is when <laughs> Kevin and I go to work out, um, you know, settle down and go get our workout done. So about 10 or 15 minutes before I uh, do my workout, I pour up my glass of Energize. This is one little bitty scoop of this crazy yellow powder. Um, and I fill up the glass all the way, but you know, I think you only require like four or five ounces. Um, mix it up really good and drink it back. It tastes like lemon, tastes like lemon lime. And uh, it's actually really good. It took me a little bit to get used to it because um, having something that tangy in the morning is like, but, um, 
but uh, it's good. It'll zing you up. It'll get you really ready to go um, and push in your workout. And a byproduct, a happy byproduct of it is that this is 12 ounces of water. This is probably 12 ounces of water, 25 ounces of water, right? So you're getting water in all the things that you're drinking already all throughout the day, okay? So that's the morning, right? Do my workout. I usually have another one of these during the workout because they're hard and I'm like dying. And I need a, I need a break. Um, so by noon, I've had, I've had 50 ounces of water just from starting my day off with it and then drinking it throughout my workout. Boom, right? My goal for the day is 75 ounces of water. Um, that's, you know, 140 pounds divided by two, 70, 75, whatever. That's why I like using these is because it breaks it up into three chunks. It's not like I have to drink eight bottles of water a day and remember which number I'm on or carry around a giant jug. Um, no, no. Okay, so noon comes around. I've gotten two of those down. I fill it back up again, sip it during lunch, sip it during the afternoon. Um, usually I'll fill it up again during dinner and just kind of taper off toward the end of the day so I don't wake up all night and have to pee. But um, so that's kind of my strategy, guys. I front load my water, my day with water. Um, I make sure that the beverages I'm drinking throughout the day involve water in some way. Um, and I just keep one of these constantly with me so that I know typically I have three of these a day, um, morning, noon, and night. And, uh, and that gets me to my water goal every day consistently. Last thing I'll mention before I cut this off is um, when you get over that hump and you begin to actually hydrate consistently, you will feel a much better difference. You'll feel different in your body. It will seem easier. It won't be feeling like such a chore. And the downstream effect of having to pee all the time will get less. Where I, where I screwed up so long before was is I would hydrate really good. One day I'd have like 100 ounces of water and then the next day I'd have like 30. <laughs> and so my body never normalized. Um, but if you just consistently get the same amount every day, then your body does adjust, just like with the workouts, right? You're starting your workout up, everything's sore, give it a week, you're not gonna be sore, okay? So those are my tips for you guys. I, um, hopefully this live thing worked, I would never know, right? Um, but I, what I would love to hear from you guys below today is what are your water tips, right? Show me a picture of the jug that you use. Um, tell me how you get through the day to make sure you get enough water, right? Enough water is your body weight divided by two, um, in ounces, right? 140 pounds divided by two is 70 ounces. I shoot for 75 ounces. Um, and if you struggle with water, tell us about that too. So then we can help you strategize on ways to get around it. Um, you know, everybody has a different schedule and a different lifestyle. So that's what we're here to do is support each other and collaborate. So, all right, y'all happy water Wednesday. If you want to post your water stuff today, post it up. If you don't want to post water stuff, look at the uh, cover picture above and I think it's workout Wednesday. So show me a sweaty selfie or something, but just let me know you're alive. We're on day three. I'm going to go back through everybody's check-ins today. And if you haven't checked in for the last couple days, if you've gone MIA already, that's when the accountability part of this group checks in or kicks in and uh, we will be coming to find you and make sure that you're okay and you haven't left the wagon. Okay. Yay. All right, y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.